Hi there, and welcome uh, to uh, ironworthenreach.com. My name is Henry Smith. If you've been here for um, before, welcome back. And if it's your first time, uh, welcome. Good to have you here. And what we, this uh, channel and this video series is about is an ongoing video series about wealth creation in action. Wealth creation in action, uh, the growth of an investment portfolio. And, uh, you know, and it started from very humble beginnings last year and um, started to grow and reached six figures at the beginning of this year and continues to grow. And so every day I track the growth of this investment, investment portfolio, uh, whether it's gone forward or backwards, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I also you know, give a few tips on how I got to where, where I am. And it's, it's actually the two factors responsible for getting to where I am, where I got to. One is the mindset, very, very important. Without the mindset, I wouldn't be where I am today, or I wouldn't be going where I'm going as well. And then there's the investment strategy. And many people just want to focus on the second, which is the investment strategy. And uh, that's not a good idea. You, that will only take you so far. But once you've got the mindset, the right mindset, strategy, and the, um, once you've got the right mindset, strategy, then what would happen is that um, you would actually find it very easy to attract capital and make the right decisions, right, the right investment decisions, because your business acumen, your investment acumen, should I say, would be vastly improved. Now, basically, what I want to do right now is share my screen. And before I do, I'm just going to do the disclaimer. I'm not a, um, I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a um, financial advisor. I'm not a uh, accountant or CPA. So do your own due diligence and your own research. We'll know that all, this is just my own personal experience I'm speaking from. All investments carry some kind of risks. And um, so do your due diligence. Don't be, you know, deluded that, you know, investments always go up. They go down as well as up. So be aware of that. And do not invest more than you can afford to lose. That's, that's another important thing. So with that, what I'm going to do is share my screen. And then I shall um, continue. So this is the spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet that I started. So basically started with the actual mindset training in February 2020. Started the investment strategy in May, June 2020. And after I was able to accumulate some funds due to what I learned with the mindset training, and then built it, it grew to 106,000 by the end of January, or shall I say, beginning of February 2021. Started tracking it, as you can see, on a daily basis, the portfolio. And this is in the cryptocurrency space, by the way. And every time it goes up in the green, uh, I, I label that green when it goes down a day. I labeled that in red, so we got you know forward, backward, forward, backward. That's just the nature of the market. And at the end of the first month, which was February, the first month of tracking this, um, it was thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and sixty above the one one hundred six that had gone forward thirty-five point seven percent, an average of one hundred and sorry one thousand three hundred and fifty-two dollars a day. And then in March, we continued doing the same thing, tracking it day by day. You know, we had some great runs. Then we had some time when the market pulls back, as you can see in red, and all this is bound to happen. And by the end of the end of March, it's gone forward one hundred twenty-six thousand three hundred eighty-one dollars, which is eighty-seven point eight one percent, which is equivalent to four thousand and seventy-six per day. So we are now in April, and moving forward, we've done the first twelve days in April. And, uh, you know, the last few days has been a bit of a pullback. And so you usually don't see more than three days pullback in a row. I think there's, yeah, we've not had a four, four days in pullback. So, um, and even if it did, so what? But anyway, so here we go. I'm going to put today's figures here, today's date rather here. And I take the figures from today and the investment summary. And this investment summary is based on a portfolio that contains one Bitcoin, and an assortment of alternative cryptocurrency coins, otherwise known as altcoins. And the total, the overall total is up here in green. 
And this is all in US dollars, as you can see. And this reflects the time and date. And this is connected to a live feed, which is refreshed every 10 minutes. So I think in the next minute, it's going to refresh again. I think it, no, no, it's not. No, it's just refreshed, sorry. Just refreshed a minute ago, shall I say. And this is the pounds sterling equivalent or GBP, uh, just to so that I can keep track of the equivalents. So the, this figure here, which is a, the altcoin total in this portfolio, is 240. 381, 243807. So time and 243.81.07, I think, or 07. Yeah, 07. And then this one, this one here, the total overall is 303. Oh, so I will calculate this on that. I don't need to always calculate this. So this should be above the other one. So that's great. That's a, this is a this is a plus. So I'm going to color this green. That's good. And <clears throat> this figure here was three o three o three two three seven ninety eight. Three o three two three seven ninety eight. Three o three Two, three, seven point nine eight. I believe and that's just a little bit above yesterday, which is good. At least it's and it's uh, one thousand above. So um, color that green as well. So it's kept to its pattern, not not going doing more than four days, pulling backwards without going forward. And um, so three or three. So that's great. This is. Yeah, great. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And but before I go, I just show you uh, what I what I have for you is something that's free, which is um, I'll go, just go here. I'm wealthenrich.com. If you go here, we have a mindset training, wealth and prosperity mindset training exercise that you can follow along with and do, which I've, I've uh, using free resources that I put together and then my own spin on things. Uh, which, which tie it all together and show you how I actually apply them. And, um, you know, the, the goal of our, of our of the mission of I'm Working Rich is to show you how to understand the game of money and play it well. And um, I understand the game of money, I play it well, and I want you to know how to understand the game of money and play it well. So, here, down, you scroll down here, you, down below you can see some previous videos that I've put there. But um, on the right hand side, you want to get this. This is absolutely free now. So put your name, email address, click click the uh, get free access, and then we'll send you a link to the page where you can actually start applying these techniques as well and the investment strategy. And if you want more advanced strategies for the altcoins, you can contact us and we can put you on a webinar for that. So so that's what I want to talk to you about there. Uh, so make sure you do that immediately after this. There should be a, a link under the video. If not, just go to ironwealthenrich.com and um, access it there. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is just, just human nature. You know, human nature is just so predictable and it doesn't really change. You know, at the beginning, you know, what was this? What, was this? Um, what we don't understand, we fear, you know, and what we fear, we try to destroy, you know. And people are just, they behave in a certain predictable way over and over and over again, they never change. And it's with everything. And all, after a while, you kind of get to learn from this and really just be ahead of the curve, so to speak, and understand when people are going through a new trend, you know, this is, pe people tend, tend to hate change and react very badly to change and new things. You know, um, I'm gonna put a, a clip on right now to show you, and uh, not right now, actually, I'm gonna do, before I'm going to show you what, what I mean by changing things are always changing and evolving and new things come and they displace old things and people get have to get used to that they have to get used to and embrace new change it's against human nature to change to, to, you know, humans don't like changing so to speak uh, even if it even, even if it cost them their life some some humans would stay the same and uh, which is unfortunate 
but basically um you know human beings are human beings really but you there was a statement that said study human beings as, as if you weren't one of them and when you stand back and look at human beings they're pretty funny and pretty predictable like i said very very predictable and those that get ahead the one to two percent three percent that get ahead are those who don't act like the, the crowd they don't like act like, like the typical person and if you really want to do you know if you want to be different um then then you know you, you need to you're going to need to want to um act differently from 95 percent of people very you know you've got to be unique and act differently and but what I mean by people is the same, and it's interesting that change, when change happens, like I said, it supersedes what came before it in a big way. And then people get used to this new thing and say, oh, well, as if it was like that all along. That's the funny thing. And yet when it was happening, when those changes were happening, they were resisting it, saying all kinds of silly things uh, and uh, immature things and, and just, you know, just basically showing that resistance to change. So, so basically, you know, what, what I'm trying to say is that um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I, what I mean by change. Now, let me just share my screen. Here's what, I, for example, this, this change when the internet came was coming along can you remember the internet for those of you old enough remember when the internet came along and people were took a long time before they adopted it and they were very very especially in this year era where we this is around this place people asking all kinds of strange questions 1993 1994 i'm going to play you a video right now of 1994 of how people were talking about the internet it's a clip i got uh, from the internet, but I'll play it anyway. And um, we, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll, um, we'll see, let's just do that. Just to show you how people react. Back now at 56 past, I wasn't prepared to translate that as I was doing that little tease. Oh, that's that right. little mark with the A and then the ring around it. At? See, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. um, Katie said she thought it was about. Yeah. Oh. But I'd never heard it. I'd never heard it about, said. I'd always seen around. the mark, but never yeah. heard it said. And then yeah. it sounded stupid when I said it. Violence at NBC. <coughs> yeah, I heard it around for about fun. the lunchroom. The See, week. there it is. Violence at NBC. G E com. I mean, well, what, what is, Allison should know. What, what do you is say internet about anyway? Internet is uh, that massive computer right. network, mm -hmm. the one that's becoming really big now. What do you mean? That's big. How does one? What do you write to it like mail? No, a lot of people use it and communicate. With, I guess they can communicate with NBC writers and producers. Allison, can you explain what internet is? No, she can't say anything in ten seconds or less. Oh, <laughs> oh. Allison will be in the studio shortly. What, is what does it mean? It's a, it's a giant computer network made up made up of uh, started from. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us what this was. It's so like a, look a in computer the dictionary. billboard. It's, it's not in it. It's it, it's it's a computer billboard, but it's nice right. and wide, and it's it's several uh, universities and everything all joined together. And right, and others can access it. And, right, and it's getting bigger and bigger all the time. It Just came great. in really handy during the quake. A lot of people, that's how they were communicating out to tell family and loved ones they were okay because all the phone lines were down. I was telling Katie, you know, but you don't need you don't need that you don't need a phone line to operate. No, internet? no. So that's how people were reacting when they were here. You understand? But people today, it's just part and parcel of everyday life. You can't even imagine life without the internet, you know? And, you know, it went through a time when 10% of people had it and then 90% of people, the other 90% joined. Now, virtually almost 100% of people, well, I would say 99% of people use the internet in some way, shape, or form. They're not using it on their laptop, in their, in their, on their televisions, on their phones, in, in all different ways. And they're using, you know, ter uh, internet and Wi-Fi services. So Wi-Fi, well, yeah, Wi-Fi products and so on. But this time when people change, and if you would have adopted it early, you could have made an absolute fortune. Those people who actually made an absolute fortune in the growth of the internet, who understood it at this time, they understood it around this time, 
not understanding it here, but here around the 19, early 90s. If you understood it here, you would have made an absolute fortune. That's why Bill Gates made a fortune and Amazon made a fortune and so on and so forth. But you could say, well, I don't know how I could have made a fortune from the internet, you know. Some, some have in different type, different ways and some, you're right, it wasn't, not everybody could have made a fortune from the internet. But here's, you know, and the interesting thing is, and look at another effect, I'm gonna show you another effect of what this has done, okay? So this, this change, before the internet, as the internet was getting on, do you remember this? I don't know if it's showing, huh? Anyway, so remember how thick it used to be? Look how thick it is. It's a very, very thick book called, because it's now like an antique, the yellow pages. Okay, see how thick it is? See, see how thick it is? All the businesses were in here, and this is just the London one, by the way, but all the businesses were in here, and this was the place to be. This was the place to be. You know, if you're not in one of these, you are not considered serious. <laughs> All right? And look what's happened. You know, so that was, that was, um, let's share that screen again. That was down here, right? Down here, 1990, you know, earliest, in the early, early years, the first, but, you know, this is before, so before the internet had taken off, most people were still using the yellow pages. See, 90% of people had not joined the internet revolution yet. So those 90% of people always got the information from the yellow pages. Okay? But, but now, what, look at what's happened now. Look what's happened. After we get to this point, over 90%, plus the 10%, this is more like 199% of people now using the internet is in maturity because the growth has already happened. The growth has happened. Now we're in maturity stage. Okay? And now, what do we have? We have, this is the yellow page of today. It's a thin, see how thin it is? A thin pamphlet. It's a joke. London Central. Do you see what the other one was? London Central. Okay. This is London. This is London Central. Okay. And this is London Central. All right. This is what progress does. This is what evolution does. This is what digital evolution does okay okay it dematerializes this is this has been dematerialized into you know into the internet and this would soon be maybe a one page post, post one page one next one next time i get it through the letterbox i don't even know why they bother okay see how thin it is right so this is called progress this is called growth and this is called evolution this is what happens and this is you know change happens whether you like it or not you can resist and resist and resist, and those who, who continue to resist will go out of business. Okay, but there's you know another. We're in the midst of another incredible change right now, right? And people are still acting the same way they did in the beginning of the internet. Skeptical, not making cha a change, or very slow to change, wondering what what is the point of it, you know, asking, you know, qu kind of questions that um, make shows that they don't really understand. And well, let me share the my screen again. Share my screen. So that's the internet. What about this revolution? We are in this revolution right now, and we are here. Okay. Just get, let's go back to the broadband. When the broadband was here, okay, that's when the yellow pages was thick. After when you get to this point up here, the yellow pages became well a thing of the past. It's a relic, basically. Okay. And here, we all, you know, people are still thinking digital, physical money, the pound, the dollar, the euro, the yen, and all these physical fiat monies are the thing. But I'll tell you, well, the time we get to this level up here, 90% 90, 90 adoption, then saturation, right? You'll see, you know, fiat money will be a thing of the past. And, and it, will be, it will be dramatically changed, will have a different use. So those that got in, so there's no reason really to say, well, how can I take advantage of the internet? I understand maybe you couldn't take advantage of the internet. You couldn't, couldn't buy the internet, but you can buy Bitcoin. You can buy digital cryptocurrencies, digital assets, okay? And even though yeah, Bitcoin has had its massive, a lot of growth in the last 10 years, 
there are many new coins, the old coins that are coming out today are where Bitcoin used to be. So there's tremendous opportunity, but this is the time to take advantage of this opportunity. Okay, because guess what's going to happen? This is going to happen. And you, you want this to carry you up to new heights of wealth. You see, this is what's going to happen. Then when it comes to here, every Tom, Dick and Harry and his dog and his cat will be doing Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and, and all the other cryptocurrencies. But this time you could have been, I wouldn't say fat and happy. I wouldn't say you'll be very wealthy, would be very well off because the success would have carried you. This is the de democratization of money. This is of wealth. This is the dematerialization of wealth. This is the dematerialization of stores of value. Okay. I remember talking to a lady not too long ago about this and, and she said, you know, I think, you know, how things are changing and imagine currencies debasing and so on. And this is going to protect your person, purchase and power. And she said, you know, you know what the best thing for, 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 for protecting purchase and power and protecting yourself. Do you know what it is? She said, well, it's gold. I said, you're wrong, lady. You're wrong. It used to be. Gold, you'll find gold would be like the old yellow pages. Okay. It will always still be, you know, people still use gold to an extent. And don't get me wrong, gold's a great asset. But compared to what Bitcoin is, Bitcoin is the hardest money. Hard, hardest money. It's hard money. Gold is not as hard as Bitcoin. The hard money always wins. Okay? It is the chief apex predator. It always wins. The soft money. Fiat money is very soft money, it's corruptible, it's no, it's just devalues all the time. Okay. Um, gold is not as corrupted as um, as fiat money, but it can be manipulated and it can be it can it can be manipulated. But Bitcoin cannot be manipulated because it there's a set amount of Bitcoin that is distributed and cannot be interfered with or changed but by anybody. That's the amount, that's the amount, full stop, period. So it's, un you know, cannot be corrupted. The supply cannot be corrupted by demand. That's the, it's the only asset that is not affected by demand. You understand? It's not affected by demand. Most of them are affected by de demand. If they demanded more gold, the price was sky high, 50,000 an ounce people would then find a way to produce more gold because it would be more profitable. But if Bitcoin was one billion a coin, they couldn't, still couldn't make any more of it. They have to go according to the supply. The supply cannot be interfered with. So we are here, take advantage of this before this massive change comes and, and then you know, leaves you behind. Don't get left behind. This is the time to be in and not miss another opportunity. This is an incredible opportunity and like I said, don't be like the way humans have always been, okay? Always doubting, uh, is it, will it happen? You know, always j j jumping in something after the fact is not going to make you wealthy, you know? And, and it's, it's plus, there's plenty of proof so far to prove, I mean, it has a 12-year record, truck, uh, truck record. It's a, as, it's, has a trillion dollar, the whole cryptocurrency space is over $2 trillion market. It's not small. I remember watching videos, and that's an interesting thing. I remember watching videos that are a year old now. We're in April. So March, let's say, 2020, and the whole crypto space was, crypto space was around 250 billion. And it was tiny. That is tiny. That may seem a lot from on an individual level, but as a market uh, space and size, it's tiny. But it has 10 x in one year. It's basically 10 x in one year. Okay, two trillion is not so small now. But we're just getting started. Okay, the next five years is going, is going to eclipse gold. In the next 10 years, it will eclipse the stock market. Okay, so, you know, it won't be so small then. And it would be that time people, ah, oh, well, perhaps I should have joined. Well, it'd be too late then. You are now here right now. Oh, I wish I was back in 2021 
you know, imagine we're, we're in 20, 2028, 20, 2030. People go, oh, I wish I was back in 2021. If I was in 2021, I would have bought lots of Bitcoin and, and all the other altcoins. I would have bought lots of them. And lots of, well, guess what? Close your eyes. Bang. Your wish is my command. You're now back in 2021. It's now 2021. So what are you going to do? Imagine you just got that wish. You know, you were in the future. And Bitcoin was 2 million a coin. Okay. Um, now you say, you know, you wish it was 2021 where you could have got it for 60,000 a coin. Okay. Your wish is my command. It's now 2021. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You see what I mean? And, and that's how opportunities are. So opportunities like this come a, a, around and they, they, the next opportunity might be in something completely different. But opportunities always come in and people, the right pe people who, who take advantage of these opportunities are those that really succeed with these opportunities. And those that don't, well, they miss out and they are the if I would have, should have kind of thing, regrets. So as they say, you know, be disciplined, do your research, and be determined to, to, to change your life. Discipline weighs ounces, but regret weighs tons. So don't be don't no, don't get in a position where you'll regret. Uh, this video has been going long enough. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to uh, please thank, uh, like this video, share it, subscribe, hit the notification button, and all that kind of stuff to get YouTube to share it. Thanks very much for watching. I want to. Um, Wish you a wonderful day. Don't forget, I'mWealthEnrich.com. Get your free training and um, so that you can learn how to understand the game of money and play it well. I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful day. My name is Henry Smith, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.